Hello, this is Maya. I'm broadcasting out the UK and today I'm going to do another Saponico Varicino Mirto di Sardegna. Okay, so that's it. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I tried my best. I'm also not quite sure whether it is as crumbly as the Dolomiti, so I'm going to check it first because if I do need to bloom it a bit then I will do it now whilst I'm talking to you. Let's have a little sniff. Oh this is absolutely fabulous. Yes and it, it's not quite as crumbly but it uh, yeah it's a little crumbly so does that make any sense at all? I do not know. Let's take some out. Okay, that's an absolutely fantastic smelling soap. I'm already loving this. Yeah, it's very herby. It is, you can smell the myrrh. Yes, this is absolutely divine. So I'm only taking a little bit out because the razor that I'm going to be using with the blade that I'm going to be using today is going to be a super close shave and I'm most probably not going to do more than two passes so let me just seal this up beautifully I'm going to be using my shave bowl, the bottom part of my shave bowl oh hang on, didn't I say I would try see what it's like in the top half well let's just do that let's transfer let's see if that actually works let's just use this as the experiment okay so top half of the bowl i'm pressing it down this is the smooth half of the bowl but it has a bigger diameter but it's not as tall so there, I've pressed it down. I am now just going to get my five mils of water in the basin next to me. I have, well, just a minute ago it was really hot water. Now it's already cooled down. Okay, so I have my five mils here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one mil. Yeah, that's one mil. So I have four left. And I have the other mill in here, which I'm just going to let the soap bloom a tiny bit in there. So as you now can see, I'm going to be using the shave bowl. And <clears throat> as brush, I'm going to be using my Arctic Lake Caravelle from Yaki. It is a 24 millimeter. And this is a fantastically soft knot. I hope the soap is going to work with this because the soap is actually also a triple it's a triple mill so it is it is quite hard even even though I said it is sort of soft but this does have I think enough backbone so we'll test that out so I don't need to soak it but I have just dipped it in water I'm shaking it out and putting it on the side and the razor I am using today is my Sejos Spanish razor. It has two sides. It has the scalloped edge, which has a bigger blade gap. And I, by the life, cannot remember now what it is. And then the closed edge, which is the smaller blade gap. Um, I will put it on the video. I hope I have noted it down somewhere because I cannot remember. So, and it has a curve to it in case you haven't noticed. If you look at it, you can see there's a curve to this razor, especially on this side. So it's actually a three in one uh, blade gaps and a slant, even though the slant is a curve. You get my meaning. Right, okay. So, and in that I am putting in a Gillette 7 o'clock green, it's on its second use. And there will be no overhang on this one. 
this is a piece of art so this is again in the more expensive category of razor but it is well worth it if you want to make an investment uh, this is uh, this is it's called actually the Serhus Zeppelin okay and it is it does have its marks at the bottom I've just put my fingers on so you can see fingerprints as well and this is what it looks like inside very good machinery great quality it's heavy but for a more complete review you can watch my former video with it on okay so here we go here's the seven o'clock I'm going to lower this down onto the top plate I must say I can't really see that much what I'm doing because I've got no lights on in the bathroom so that all the light comes in through the window if I put the lights on in the bathroom it's just going to be super noisy and everything will just be color yellow um, so and the weather outside is really not good weather it's very windy and very gray and dark so I'm hoping this is going to be good enough okay so there we have there we have the razor blade loaded and you see there is no blade gap whatsoever that's the no blade overhang not gap um, and there's the blade gap on this side right so it aligns perfectly every time okay and then I will be using let me just put my little bit of wrap blade wrap over there then I will be as a post shave I shall be using my aloe first spray and as an aftershave balm I will be using the unscented 1912 from Wickham's Wickham, did I say that correctly I'm not sure now okay so let me dip in my brush once more, shake it out. Let me adjust the camera. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's adjust and shake that out properly. I don't want too much water in the brush because I want to be in control of the water here. So as you can see, a little bit has bloomed. You can see that by the color of there. Now you can see it, the remnants down there. So it has bloomed a tiny bit. Here we go. So that was one mil in there. I'm now loading. Yes, and it, I think it has enough backbone, this brush, to do this. So let's load it. I've not put a lot of soap in this time. So I'm going to be have to be rather careful with the adding of water. It might not be a full teaspoon. But and I'm thinking this is working quite well. Can you see this is actually working quite well? I think I have more movement in here than in the bottom half. So Okay, as you can see, that is now properly loaded. I am now going to add one and a half. So now I've got half a teaspoon in here in total. very nice scent once again it's classy it's mild but it's just there yes I will need more water 
Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm adding the other half of a teaspoon in, so that makes it one teaspoon. I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. It is already, look at the shine, sheen on this already. Can you see that? Let's just work this a bit more. I think the top half works equally as good. Now I think the top half of the shave bowl. I'm thinking this is fabulous. Now I have two bowls in one really. Um, where this is perfect for the bigger size brushes. 24, 26 and I'm guessing a 28 would fit in here too. I haven't got a 28. Look how lovely this is. Okay, I'm going to add a little more water. Let me just draw up. I can't see. Yes, that's a teaspoon, but I'm only putting one mil in. That's another millimeter, millimeter, milliliter. Oh my goodness. Considering the tiny amount of soap I had in there, this is fabulous. Okay, I'm adding another. One and a half, so I'm one and a half teaspoons now. Really daring it here. Oh, but look at this. Look how lovely this is coming up. Look how creamy this is, absolutely fantastic. And the sheen is just like Italian meringue. I think I'm going to stop there. Let me have a feel, do the finger test. Wow, this is creamy. This is creamy. I should have bloomed the soap on Wednesday, then I would have had the same result. This is so creamy, it's unreal. And the protection, this feels so good. Right. Let's adjust the camera. There we go. Right, let's wet the face. Okay, my, oh, I had finally my glasses repaired yesterday. I finally got into town. Can't believe it. How many months was that? So my nose now can heal on the side. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm taking some of the lather off into the bowl. Oh, this is such a lovely scent. Herby yet fresh. And by the way, out of the other little bit that was left from the soap last time, I washed my face two more days with that bit. Um, glasses, where did I put my glasses? That's what I'm looking for. Because with this darkness, I need to go really close to the mirror. So here we go. I'm going to have to adjust and I'm going to use the mild blade. My, not mild blade, the mild side. Hmm. 
Mm, I think I could have gone with the higher blade gap, which I'll do on the other side. This feels lovely. You can feel the blade, but it's smooth. It doesn't feel harsh at all. It just glides. Super smooth. You, it is a. I don't like using the word aggressive. It is a slightly aggressive razor. Um, let's just use the word effective. It is really effective. You can feel the precision and you have real control. Um, I know you're supposed to have real control with every razor, but sometimes you just get that mild feeling and nothing else. Not with this one. So let me just wipe my face off and that is already super close. So this is definitely a razor for coarse hair. And the soap is so creamy, it's lovely. It literally feels like putting, um, what you call it, double cream or Americans call it heavy cream on your face. That's what it actually really feels like. Except for it has a beautiful scent. So once again, I'd advise you, if you're not sure about these expensive soaps, but want the experience get yourself some samples and once again I'm going to be using the mild side don't forget it has that slant don't underestimate that slant that curve in it And I found that the Gillette 7 o'clocks work extremely well and they last quite a bit too. Oh, I might have a weeper now. That was a bit haphazard, that one. That was a tiny bit haphazard. Superb slickness, this soap. So I'm just letting out the water. Letting some fresh in, excuse the noise. Let's wipe the face. Definitely, you can.
can feel the difference of quality. Um, I don't know what how to say this. I don't want to put any of the other soaps down that I've recently used. Like the Wiccans and the Executive Shaving. They are all fabulous. But this one just has something else as well. And I'm just going to actually just wash my face now once more. I'm not going to be using the razor again because I'm so close. I just want to use some of this lovely soap. Just put it on once more. Basically wash my face with it. Oh, here we go. Head covering Lala. Hmm, and I have, even though I use such a small amount, look at this. I'm going to have to stick that. <laughs> I'm going to have to use that, reuse that again. This feels just so good. And I love this very subtle scent. It's almost not there. If you've shaved with the fat, as in um, Mitchell's wool fat, it feels like that, but has this fantastic classic scent. That is a bit herby, not too much. It feels lovely on the skin. Oh, you can hear it squeaking. My skin is squeaking. That's how close that shave is. Right, let's just dry my face. There you go. Put some aloe first on. I'll put it into my hands first. Oh yeah. I said that would be a bit... Oh, it stings a tiny bit here. Super close. So if you get if you have the Seychus razor, do not put a Voscot in it. Do not put something super sharp like a feather in it either for the first go. Work your way up to it. I'm, I'm warning you. This is a very, very efficient razor. I'll just show it to you once more. I know it's got soap on it now, but there you go. So that's, that's the Sejo Zeppelin. Right, this is dried. And I'm now adding my 1912 unscented just a little pump that's most probably way too much but it is now what I've got in my hand so I'll use what I've got I think the soap itself has a fabulous post feel you don't really need any more hydration after I'm just doing this because this feels lovely and I, sometimes I like doubling up so I will not review the product again I'll make this a little short today um, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you've had enough information from me about the soaps the soap so that was once again SV Mirto di Sardegna, a sample, that's going to last me quite a long while. With the amount that I've used, I'm thinking I'm going to get out of this at least seven more shaves, at least. So even the sample is well worth getting. And to the test of 
the upper part of the shave bowl. I am super surprised it worked very well. I'm going to put this lather into my soap bowl. Um, I'll remember this. Remember my palm olive dupe. <laughs> well, I've been putting little bits of that was the boots still in here. What was left of the boots. So I'm just going to put that in there and I will use that tomorrow morning and wash myself with that. And there you go. So, hope you have a lovely weekend. And next week will be another new soap. Um, I think I might do a, um, maybe I'll do an American one for a change. Okay, I'll see you soon. All the information will be at the back and in the info box below. See you. Bye-bye.